Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. On this episode, I'm super excited to review the Caraval trilogy by Stephanie Garber. Uh, there are three books in the series, Caraval, Legendary and Final. Uh, this trilogy has been on my to-read list for a full year because I read it in Portuguese and I was waiting for the last book to be published here. Uh, I think I found out about it one on one of those fantasy books list and I was very hooked on the concept. The Caraval trilogy is focused on the story about two sisters, Scar Scarlett and Donatella Dragna. Uh, they're unbreakable bond, a legendary competition and their mesmerizing romances. Scarlett Dragna has never left a tiny island where she and her sister Tella live with their powerful and cruel father. Now Scarlett's father has arranged a marriage for her and Scarlett thinks her dreams of seeing Caraval, the far away, once a year performance where the audience participates in the show, are over. But this year, Scarlett's long dreamt of invitation finally arrives. With the help of a mysterious sailor, Tella whisks Scarlet away to the magical show. Only as soon as they arrive, Tella is kidnapped by Caraval's mastermind organizer, Legend. It turns out that this season's Cal Caraval revolves around Tella, and whoever finds her first is the winner. Scarlet has been told that everything that happens during Caraval is only an elaborate performance. Nevertheless, she becomes involved in a game of love, heartbreak and magic. And whether Caraval is real or not, Scarlet must find Tella before the five nights of the game are over, or a dangerous domino effect of consequences will be set off and her beloved sister will forever disappear. I don't want to spoil a lot by saying the resumes of the next two books because I feel like it would ruin a lot of the plot, but just a few notes. The next two ones are, are set uh, on the capital of the empire, uh, Valeda. Uh, the second book, Legendary, is, focus is actually focused on Tella and her home tournament playing the game that will help her unveil the mysterious disappearance of their mother. Uh, also in this book, Tella will get involved with the fates, mystical creatures that rule the world. They were very cruel and with Legend himself. I was very excited to read this series because I love fantasy a lot, but I became really obsessed with it. Stephanie is brilliant at creating such an evolving plot and characters. I especially love the bonds and parallelism she created between the sisters, Scarlet and Tella, and the brothers, Julian and Legend. It was so interesting to see the difference between their relationships. The sisters themselves were super different. Scarlet, being the oldest, was very protective and a bit naive. She believed in the best of everyone around her, and I feel like her playing Caraval really opened her eyes for the good and the bad that surrounded her. And Tella was completely the opposite. She was adventurous and saw through people. She wasn't easily fooled, and she wanted to know the truth about her past no matter what. I believe that by the end of the books, both of them got a few of the others characteristics to make them fully understand the world. Also, I love that they always sacrifice themselves for the other. It was an amazing bond. Uh, Julian and Legend, on the other hand, were also so cool, even though my heart was obsessed with Julian. He was a cheeky man and an artist at getting what he needed from people, but his honest and pure love for Scarlett was truly beautiful. I really loved all their moments together. Legend, on the other hand, made me want to hit him sometimes. I was really on the fence with him through the whole series, especially on the third book. He got his redemption by the end of the last one, but I still didn't trust, fully trust him. He was very manipulative and knew exactly what to say to get what he wanted. I also really loved the concept the author created for the games. It was so cool to see people's real personalities shine, but also for them to play a game that has a real and sometimes ruthless consequences. It really brought people's nature to the surface. Finally, I have to say that I absolutely adore Jax. I was obsessed with him and really wanted to know more and more about him and his own relationship with Tella. He's just that kind of villain that really captivates you. I recently learned that he 
appears in a different series this author wrote and I'm definitely gonna read it gonna add it to my list because I really loved him as the Prince of Hearts as always if you like this video please like comment subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content thanks for watching and see you next week happy readings